Hi everyone, my name's Allison and I'm here at the Eager Free Public Library in Evansville with your December Wellness Library Short. So December is often a month with a lot of celebrating. Um, it's been an unusual year and it's an unusual holiday season. So we might have a lot of different feelings right now. So I'm hoping that our wellness short this month can help you kind of take a breath and uh, appreciate what you do have around and feel okay feeling sad if you're missing some of the traditions um, and special things that you're used to. Um, so we've started all of our wellness shorts with a yoga pose. And this month I wanted to show you a hug pose. So one thing I know I'm missing and I'm sure a lot of you are missing is hugging the people we care about um, while we're spending time apart maybe not traveling to see people this holiday season or just sticking with our, our households. Um, we're all missing hugs. So we're gonna do a little solo hug here, um, a hug pose. It's not the same as hugging somebody else, but it is a nice way to relax. It can kind of stretch out your shoulders, which is a place we carry a lot of tension when we're feeling worried or anxious or stressed. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start with a deep breath. And you're gonna stretch your arms out really wide. Mine are so wide. They're off the screen here <laughs> and you're gonna bring your arms in a hug motion around your chest like this and you're gonna to reach to your back maybe you can kind of touch your shoulders maybe if your shoulders are really flexible you can feel your back you're just gonna give yourself a squeeze and a deep breath <sighs> you can let go we'll do it again and we'll switch our arms so put your other arm on top ready <sighs> and stretch you can kind of feel your shoulders open and feel a big hug and you can release so that's something you can do if you're having virtual celebrations. You can give virtual hugs to um, your family and friends that you're not able to celebrate with this holiday season. Um, and just remember to take a deep breath and give yourself a hug if you need it. I also have a little activity for you to do this month. It's a gratitude paper chain. So the supplies you need for this are pretty simple. You just need paper something to write with and something to connect your paper with. I'm going to use a stapler today, but you could use tape or a glue stick if you have those at home. Um, so gratitude is really important, especially around the holidays. It's nice to think about things we're grateful for. We often say thank you for gifts, um, but especially a holiday season like this where things are a little bit out of the ordinary or maybe a lot out of the ordinary. Um, gratitude, being thankful for things can help kind of ground you and help you feel like maybe everything's a little more okay when it feels like it's not. So this is something that you could do. You could write down something you're grateful for every day leading up to the end of the year, or you could sit down for a little while and do it all at once. Um, it's a fun project for your whole family to do together, or you could do it on your own. So you may have seen paper chains like this. They're fun decorations that you could use for any kind of celebration. So um, the idea is that you have some strips of paper. I cut up some construction paper. You could just use regular printer paper, um, newspaper, like anything you have on hand. Um, and the idea is you're gonna write down something you're grateful for and add it to your chain. So a few things I've already written he here that I'm grateful for are snowflakes, chocolate chip cookies, my family, and sunshine. Um, and I'm gonna add that I'm also grateful for good books. Um, I've read lots of good ones this year. So once you write that down, you're gonna take your paper and making the chains pretty simple. See how I already have one here? You're gonna slide it in, flip it around till the two ends meet and take your stapler or your glue um, or your tape and just connect them. So you can make your chain super long. You could decorate your whole room with them um, or you could just make some short ones. So that's it. It's a pretty simple activity, but hopefully thinking about what you're grateful for as this wild year wraps up um, is a helpful exercise for you guys to uh, enjoy your holiday season and all your celebrations. Thanks, everyone.